everyone. Welcome to my channel once again. And today I have for you one of my clients who has agreed to do a video testimonial for me. And we're just going to see what she has to say about her experience of working with not only me, but the emotion code, body code, and belief code, how it all, you know, we've worked with all three of them. It just kind of comes and goes as we're working through our sessions. And it's just really her experience with how that came out. So Marianne, welcome. Thank you. It's good to be here. Well, thank you for doing a video testimonial. You know, I have a lot of testimonials, but not everybody wants to be on camera giving it. So uh, it's really great because it helps me and it gets the word out to so many people as to how this could actually help them in their own life. And I think, yeah, yeah I think it brings a new dimension and it's so much more relatable when you see someone speaking, especially to their own power and their own um, experiences with you. So right. I'm, I'm happy to do it. Okay, so what would you like to share about it? And just, you know, anything, whatever you feel like sharing, whatever you think might be helpful for somebody else who's wondering if this is something that would be good for them. Yes, I think sometimes in life we get so stuck. We are so stuck, both on an emotional side, sometimes on a physical side. In my case, it's been both. And I'll elaborate a little bit about that. But starting out with the emotional, we make decisions in our lives, some we are happy about some we would like to change and they can't be changed. Um, this is a common theme, I think, to most people that if, if they had to do things over again, they might do them a bit differently. And so you have to come to some resolution and you have to get past negative feelings. And sometimes you get stuck and you don't understand why you're stuck and you don't know, you don't seem to have the tools. Even when you've led a productive life, a, an energetic life, um, you get stuck and you just don't seem to be able to find that happiness quotient that you're used to living with. And so that happened to me, both from um, changing of locations in my life to um, a reoccurring illness. So working with you, I was able to let go of things that I hadn't been able to let go of before. And in terms of my illness, to be quite blunt, um, in 2010, I was diagnosed with a very rare sarcoma, and um, it required an enormous amount of surgery. It turns out to be a one-of-a-kind, which a lot of people have a one-of-a-kind type of cancer. And I was very fortunate because it stayed dormant for seven years, but it came back in 18 and 19, and then in 23 again. And in 23, this time, it was inoperable. And so the question became, well, uh, if it's inoperable, then how do you deal with that? And how much can you rely on your own beliefs and your belief in what, whatever your religious beliefs might be and in the help of healing yourself? So it's it, it's like a combination. It's it's your guardian angels. It's It's your God. It's your power within yourself. And it almost seems very remote to even think. Uh, it almost seems impossible to believe that the body can actually heal itself from cancer. But when you're told that you're, what you have is inoperable and what you have is rare, and there really is no treatment, then you have to dig deep inside as to either acceptance or um, a willingness to try to overcome that illness. And in my case, working with you and through the belief codes and um, the body's response to all the positivity that you were able to release in my life, um, I am remarkably able to say that the tumors that were inoperable are what's called resolved which means they have gone away. And I have to tell you, even the medical community, which is, uh, is you know, some of the top hospitals in the world in terms of medical and especially cancer research, smile uh, because they tried a medicine which is used for a different type of cancer because there really was nothing to try. And I think they were as surprised as I was that the scans came back increasingly better and to the point where I had never seen the word resolved. So resolved, I said to the doctor, what exactly does that mean? And he said, it means 
they're gone. Wow. Wow. <laughs> so how do you, so you, you take a deep breath and you know, you know inherently that you're only part of the equation, that whatever you may have done, whatever, whatever life's journey is for you is not completed yet. And you have been given a gift. You've really been given a gift. But sometimes people overlook gifts or can't even find the gifts. I'd like to think sometimes working with you, things are hidden in the corner, you know, in my life. And then you'll ask questions, which is one of the great, one of the great uh, abilities of the programs you use is that you ask questions that sometimes I haven't even thought were an issue. And in asking those specific questions, we uncover things that need to be resolved. And you're able to help do that or help me do that with however you would like to express it. Yeah. I, let me just go in for a second, just to let people understand, like the medical treatment, obviously it helped you, but the energetic side of it was to open you up to know and believe that your body can do this. So you got assistance from all different angles and yes. you put it all together and of course, yes, we got rid of beliefs that your body, you know, whatever the beliefs were, right? They all came up and we got rid of them. All the different energies that were stored within your body, right? We let go, let go of that body code, emotion code, trapped emotions. So we just hit it from every angle. And that's where the questions come from. Like asking questions, bringing up the energy so that, you know, your subconscious is like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's, let's clear that part. Let's clear that part. Let's clear that part. And then it, you know, and it wasn't like one session and it's done. We've been working on this for a while. Oh, yeah. And even even the healing process, I'm into my sixth or seventh month of this because you have to take the medicine once a month, but the testing is once every three months. And I have to say, the medicine is not related to the type of cancer I have at all. It was just kind of, I guess you would say a shot in the dark, but it is the ability to, and I... I was as shocked as anyone else to to go from inoperable to resolved right. and relying on, and, and also I have to say, blessings that came through your program and through other healing mechanisms that people shared with me, you know, in other words, prayer or the sharing of a holy card or something, even people that didn't know I was carrying this illness. and. It is. It's a. It's miraculous. Really. Well, let, let's not leave out you, <laughs> oh. as the soul who made the commitment and the decision to no. This is not. I mean, I'm done with this. I'm moving. I have lots of life to live here, and I'm not going. I'm not giving into this. Like you impact. Well, okay. We let go of a lot of energy that would make you feel disempowered that you can actually right. do this. Ultimately, you did it. Well, I guess, and the interesting thing was in such a calm way, in terms of the fact that I never fought, I never, I never felt that I was fighting this disease, but actually I was working with you more on, well, how do I handle who I am and what I may be going through or what I may poss potentially be going through? That was kind of where my thought process was. And then in, in as as it evolved, the prognosis just got better and better. So it was like a result of positive feedback helping me to go on day to day. Yeah, and I'll I'll actually add just to just to clear, you know, you said earlier that so many different aspects of your life you were able to let go of things. Well, that's all part of it. Like people may not realize the cancer is there, but what are all the different energies and different things that have contributed to have your body be so out of balance that these other things came about? So, yeah, in all of that work that we did, we might have hit this issue, that issue. Like as we took all this stuff out, you were more in your power. Your body was more empowered to mm -hmm. um, do what it knows how to do, knows how to heal itself. Yes, and even to the point where... The medicine that they gave me uh, has usually thir 10 to 13 different, fairly substantial side effects, and I've had none, which is really almost unexplainable. And the doctors smile, and he they just shake their heads. 
Yeah. So even to that point, so you, you know that, I mean, I actually, yes, I did look up the medicine, but I don't think I really, I looked up some of the side effects, but then I just didn't think about it too much. But then the doctors, you know, when they see you, they go, well, this, does this happen? Does that happen? And you're like, no, 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 no. And people say, well, what, what side effects are you having? I go, none. And, <laughs> and, <laughs> and again, to be able to get up and feel healthy and active and energized. And so the medicine, instead of um, distracting from the ability to lead, lead a happy, active lifestyle, isn't interfering at all. It seems to yeah. be just doing, doing miraculous things. Yeah. Well, and so I'll just close with saying, I, you know, I, you're just a very strong person. You've always been your whole life, very capable, always getting things done. And now maybe this, who knows, was more of something to to really show you that okay I'm a little bit older now I not you know I used to have to do all this stuff in my younger years what's left for me like some people might think like the you know like so the cancer what I'm trying to get at is almost like telling you but hold on a second don't you remember how powerful you are and all mm -hmm. that you can accomplish and now maybe it came up three times in your life right Maybe you didn't always get that message completely in the in the earlier years, but now you opened up to more of knowing that everything's energy and this is a spiritual life. I'm in a body, right? Um, and it just, I think, probably had you tap into more of that innate knowing and power that was kind of covered up by all the stuff that's happened over all the years, right? Well, and I yeah, because I think as we get older, and you know, I'm in my late seventies, so. Um, you have it. I and I, most people that I talk to my age, there's a tendency sometimes, of course, to evaluate. Well, how much longer do I think I might have? What should I be doing with my life? Should I start that project? Should I should I um, put energies in one direction or another? Um, is that realistic? And so, with you working with you, actually, I'd like to say you make everything possible that's the message that comes through well nothing's really impossible in the moment in 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 god's time in your as part of your journey so yeah. you you help clear the field sometimes you know you're going down the road and a tree branch falls down or it's that i'm just using that symbolically or things come in the way and then you're able which happens to everyone and then Sometimes we're able to just get out and move the tree branch. Sometimes it's too big. It requires assistance. And that's where you you give the person the ability to help, move, you know, get the help, whatever is needed to move things, clear things. And I guess that word clear, the clearing and the clearing of understanding. And also the energy it brings in terms of peace. And it's a, it's an interesting thing because it's both peaceful and yet energetic at the same time. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Right. Because you do, it is this peace comes over you, but you do feel like, all right, I'm ready. Yes. I'm ready to go. Exactly. Like, what's next Absolutely. For me? Yes. Yeah. And that's so great. Well, thank maybe, you very much. <laughs> thank you. Maybe you'll, uh, maybe this is a good place to just end this testimonial because really, ultimately, now you are just have been re empowered to decide, okay, what do I want to do next? How do I want to play in this life, in this world? at this time because hey i had cancer three times i've overcome it all and yep. so if i can do that i can do anything yeah. and it's four times oh it's four, four times sorry <laughs> we don't want to minimize that <laughs> no so it's like okay goodbye now what's next right that's gone and as right. well as all the different other things that kind of maybe contributed to it because it's all energy right so when you have when you're yeah. carrying all these heavy energies or experiences that you haven't been able to let go or even you forgot about like energy is connected to different traumas or emotional events it all adds up so as we clear it all re-empower ourselves to be like oh i mean especially this that's why i wanted to, to that's why i asked you if you would do a video testimonial because a lot of people are going through that and may not you know, may have not realized that there's always hope yes yeah yes okay well thank you marianne and uh, thank you welcome. everybody for watching. If you have any questions about any of this, you can just visit my website and um, find out everything you need to know. Bye everyone.